there are so many ways that sport influences us today. Whether you're an athlete, uh, a coach, a passionate fan, or a franchise owner, the impact that sport has on our daily lives is undeniable. Now that passion that sport is able to bring out of people, it's obvious all over the world. From soccer riots to championship parades, sports have the ability to bring out the emotions in people and they can take over entire communities. Now what if I told you that the inherent connection between sport and psychology is currently underrealized in Canada today? Now what if I also told you that there's an emerging field of sports psychology consultants who can facilitate the, the development of an athlete's performance by focusing on the mental aspects of their game. So these are the kind of topics and questions and conversations that often come up when sports psychology comes up. But what else are we really talking about here? Now, what if I told you that a sports psychology consultant could provide the parent of a child with social anxiety the comfort of knowing that their child could successfully integrate into a group of their peers. Or that a sports psychology consultant could provide coping mechanisms and tools to people who are experiencing personal or mental health issues to help them find peace and balance in their lives. Or that these sports psychology consultants can help teach basic life lessons like commitment, teamwork, dedication or per perseverance and composure in a real tangible life setting. Now I was fortunate enough to sit down with Dr. Ennis to discuss sports psychology and his association with the Kitchener Rangers. Take a look. Well good morning Dr. Ennis, thanks for taking the time to sit down with me here in the Kitchener Rangers dressing room. Uh, can you explain a little bit of your involvement with the Kitchener Rangers here? Uh, well, the, just this past year, um, they brought me on board uh, to deal with some of the mental side of the game. Uh, so that involved uh, some fairly regular meetings with the team here in the dressing room, for example, every couple of weeks or so, uh, dealing with either something that had been coming up uh, for them. For example, at one point in the year, they were having trouble getting started in the second period. And so we kind of addressed, you know, that mental preparation between periods, um, how you get ready to, to step back out on the ice and things of that nature. Um, and as well, there, there was a variety of different things that I wanted to present to the team. So as the opportunity arose, things like group cohesion, goal setting, uh, getting prepared for games, dealing with adversity, that kind of thing. Um, and then secondly, uh, there was also the opportunity for any individual player to meet with me as well. So set up kind of regular office hours where they could, they could come and see me um, or if they so desired, you know, I would meet with them whenever it was available for them. So, so when you're working with your athletes, what kinds of improvements do you see from them? Well, uh, I like to think that most of the athletes that I've worked with um, have found benefits from the sports psychology, uh, the mental side of the game, and in some cases it's dramatic, in other cases, you know, it can just be preventative. Um, but I think in all cases they, they do benefit from it and that's kind of the, the feedback that I get from them. I've never had a, a player say that, you know, it, 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 it was detrimental to their game or to their performance or to their experience of, of the sport itself. Do you notice any mental health improvements when you're working with your athletes? I know that on occasions many of them have told me that what they, what they acquired through working on the mental side of a sport translated into other areas of their life, uh, most notably school. Um, so if, if an athlete's working on things like goal setting, dealing with adversity, getting prepared for you know, some kind of a competition, it's like preparing for an exam, uh, it's like getting prepared for a heavy course workload, etc., etc. So how do you see uh, sports psychology being applied in other areas of society? The two areas in particular, industrial organizational psychology and sports psychology, have an awful lot of interchange. Uh, in fact, an awful lot of the techniques that I use with my clients and with a, something like a team is, is the very same strategies that have been developed in industrial psychology settings and vice versa. Um, you talk to anybody in, in, in uh, industry and they start talking about you know, teamwork team dynamics, and a lot of that comes from what we've learned in sports psychology and translates. A lot of leadership um, uh, theories have come from sports psychology. 
um, cohesion, that kind of thing, and even goal setting to a great extent. So there's a lot of transfer there. There's also a lot of transfer educational psychology, uh, acquiring skills, um, learning, developmental issues, uh, very much, uh, again, a lot of overlap with sports psychology. As an aspiring sports psychologist, it was an absolute pleasure to be able to spend some time with someone with your kind of experience in the field. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to come and join me here in the Kitchen Rangers dressing room. I'm inspired to change people's lives through the use of sports psychology, and I'm asking for your support in doing so. This fall, I will be moving to Chicago to complete a master's in counseling with a specialization in sport and health psychology at Adler University. Upon graduation, I will be eligible for licensure as a counselor and I will receive certification from the Association of Applied Sports Psychology as a sports psychology consultant. Now this is the only program of its kind in North America. Now, as you might imagine, this is an expensive endeavor. And I hope to demonstrate to you that any donation will serve as both much needed financial assistance towards tuition, as well as an investment in the future of mental health in Canadian sport.